Hello guys, welcome to the first editing tutorial. Today we're going to be teaching you guys how to do the scale up and down transition. Um, like every tutorial or every tutorial that I'm going to be making, this project file will be down in the description. This is just the example, but you can just take this and copy these two adjustment layers and put it in your edit and that at this point will be your transition. So this is what you, it will look like if you do this tutorial. Um, also my composition settings here. It's always at 30 because I edit videos and it makes it like two times faster. But if you want to put it on 60, you can. It looks a lot smoother sometimes, but sometimes you don't want it smooth. So this is the scale up like that you can make it shorter by like dragging these in going into here and dragging these keyframes in like that just like that and you made it like a lot more gradual but I don't really want that I like it smooth just like that you can also add a warp to it if you want um, if you know how to do that I might do that later but here's scale down as well and yeah so I'll be teaching you guys how to make that so I'm gonna just save this and go in a new project because that's gonna be a project that you guys get access to so we're gonna go with a scale up this first one um, so I'm going to have you can import your footage and here I'll just use these first two clips and once it's done importing I'll drag them into the timeline make a cut about halfway I, you don't really need to do this it very much depends on how big your footage is but here I'm just gonna be using uh, I'm just gonna be using this for example sake so here is the transition part so right now it's just a jump cut like that I'm gonna turn off the audio so if you wanted this to like grow into the other part if you have the project file you'll just copy the two adjustment layers put it over here but here we're gonna create an adjustment layer we're gonna cut that in half and, and you know, I'm feeling a little bit like a strong transition here, so I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit shorter. All right, once that's done, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna start adding motion tile on my effects presets, and put output and height to output width and height to 3,000, and check mirror edges. I'm gonna copy this to the layer adjustment layer just so they're the same. Now we don't want the same transform though on these two adjustment layers so we're going to go ahead and add a transform to both of them. Transform effect and don't don't open this one because that moves the adjustment layer itself. So I'm going to go ahead and scale press the stopwatch on scale on this one and on this one press the stopwatch there. So now on both of them you can click U and it shows you the keyframe data. Here I'm going to keyframe this and here I'm going to keyframe this at the end of the composition. So they both end with 100. Now here for a scale up we're going to go 60 on this bottom one, the one that leads into the transition into 150 on the top one, the one that is the out transition. And we're going to select these both, press F9 or right click, go to keyframe system and easy ease. And then open this graph editor. And you wanna highlight this first one and do exactly what I did there. You really just, just pull them all the way to the, pull these all the way to the right, pull these all the way to the left. And then there you successfully 
did a scale up transition like that. Now, if you have motion blur, it looks a lot more cool. It looks a lot more smooth, but for here, I don't really need this. Also, this footage is provided by Team Elude. Uh, go check them out in the description. I will be doing edits for them um, just because I'm, I'm not doing intros anymore and I enjoy doing edits. So that's a basic scale up. So the scale down is the exact opposite of this. So I'm going to duplicate this scale up thing. I'm going to actually delete these two adjustment layers because they'll affect the other ones too. I'm just rename this scale down. And create a new adjustment layer. Cut this like so. This is basically review just so you guys get it. Motion tile. Always love searching for my um effects because I don't I don't like I don't like um going through all the folders. I mean they're they're nice and organized and stuff. I just don't like doing that. And I'm gonna go transform. And then keyframe this, transform, keyframe this, and then select them both by pressing shift click um, and selecting them both, and press U on your keyboard. Keyframe these, go to this keyframe, and for down, um, you want to go down, so it would be 150 at the bottom one and 60 on the top one. And then again, easy easies using F9 or going into keyframe assistant. Drag that all the way to the left, drag this one all the way to the right. And then you have got an easy ease uh, scale down transition. So here's a scale up again, and here's the scale down. Thank you all for watching this tutorial. I hope this helps a lot. Again, you can add warp. I usually only add warp on the scale down. Uh, sometimes scale up will work, but warp like fisheye or something. But thank you all for watching. Hope this tutorial helped a lot. Um, I know it helped me uh, when Scout did a tutorial on this. I really took from that tutorial. It's heavily inspired off of him. But thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all later. Bye.